Hi guys, I'm James Mitchell. If you don't know me, I am the owner of Chili Scrumptious Hot Stuff so Sauces, Jams, Rubs, you name it, we kind of do it. And uh, welcome to our greenhouse. <laughs> A certain pest. Now, I don't know if you can guess what they, they are. What sort of pest would you find that destroys your chili plants? Mm, no? Aphids. If you got it, well done, guys. So, what we've done is um, I've tried a few methods, the soap method, but the idea I didn't want to go down was the pest cycle, which is done like this. Um, I bought this a few years ago. I was about to use it and I realised it was empty. Then I thought to myself, no, we're not going to do that. When we go down the line, I'm doing it organically. So what we've done is, if I just uh, cover that bit up there so you don't know my address, we've got some live insects. That's right guys, and uh, I'm going to uh, get a in this video and show you. But as you can see, there they are. And there. Uh, this is the bird larvae. So what we're going to do today, what you're going to get to see as we edit this video is uh, me adding them to the chili pots and moving around. Let's see. Let's have some fun. So, what I've been told is sprinkle over the leaves. Now I've added water to the leaves to keep them, well the water that we're going to need as we go. So we're going to carefully open it. We're going to put it onto the most affected areas to start with. Now what I was informed was, let's have another double check on this before, was obviously we come already with leaves on. So all I'm going to do is drop it down like that. Oh, on there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to slowly just walk with them. Nice and slowly onto these leaves here. Just a few at a time like this and spread them about. As you're already aware, we have already put houses in them. I was informed to do this as slowly as possible, but bearing in mind uh, I've never done this before, I'm still learning myself, so put some over here. All the news, things like that. So we'll fold the leaves, but hopefully the leaves. Now, I don't know how long this takes for everything to sort of like start because it's like anything, isn't it? Once you start something new that you've never done before, uh, things happen. Well, I don't know how many is in there. Well, since we more of these little leaves, there's anything else. Oh. I've got to admit, I love any sort of insects really. Um, always have them because it's like wasps. People don't like wasps. Um, I think there's a few friends who, who are scared of them. Why are you so scared of wasps? They're absolutely fantastic of wasps. And if you like coffee and stuff like that, um, that's what you want to be doing. You want to be getting wasps introduced. I hope I'm doing this right. So I got these from Dragonflies, it's called. Um, I'm going to turn the infested, but I can't hardly see any. Hope we can pray. 
cards. At the moment, I've got so many of them. I'm destroying uh, my plants, so... Okay, so with this being the main thing, this is where I'm going to start really putting them out. So I'm just going to... Also look and see if there's any uh trees that are uh, that are ready. Sorry, I'll leave my lips go. No, this should be probably I think personally is probably the best way of doing things. Um just be fair, um if we do something organic or traditional, this would be the way, wouldn't it? So about this point where I've realised now that I can't really see um, many of the lava which is quite annoying really um, so we're going to speed up the video just a little bit so I carried on sprinkling them over as I checked to see what there was uh, in, inside the tub itself um, 250 is what we ordered but from the looks of what we got I don't think there were 50 there um, so we, we carried on looking and we, we, we've got it sprinkled over as you can see in the video uh, the larger section, obviously where I am now, is where it's really heavy. Um, where it often, where literally the plant is just covered in the enemy, as I like to put it. So yeah, so we've emptied it out. There was a few still in the tub, and what we did with the tub is we just sat it down there. We came up with a decision that it would actually make more sense um, once we've obviously added this to it we would come back uh, in, in a couple of days and see how it went. We did come back the following day um, as, as you will uh, now see. So it's been 24 hours since we uh, put the pest control onto the leaves. I've just got back to uh, the greenhouse now and we're going to go in and we're going to see if the uh, a little bit of larvae has got rid of any of the uh, pests that we've got problems with. So just looking at it from the get-go, just close the door, it is a bit windy today. It's a bit of a storm coming. So yeah, I'm just looking at it as you can see here. Um, we've still got quite a few hanging about, but um, we I didn't really expect much to happen in the first 24 hours. Looking at the actual plants themselves, um, I can't see any of the little bit of larvae. Whether or not they're under the leaves, which I will check. Or not, I'm not too sure. So, it's, like I said, it is very disappointing when uh, you pay so much money to do it properly. Uh, whether or not I feel what I've done was beneficial. That's going to be another story, isn't it? So, um, I'm going to have a look underneath the leaves and I will carry on to work, let you know tomorrow. Another 24 hours later, we're back. So, I've given it the uh, 74 hours, like I said um, at the beginning of this video, that I'm going to leave it. Uh, I came down yesterday, had a quick rummage round and the larvae that we could see on the first day had vanished uh, maybe underneath some of the leaves at the bottom end, I'm not too sure say that there's 250 um, well, maybe 250 larvae here I, I can't physically see that because I can't even see one today uh, I have had a, a good look underneath most of the plants and I can't see anything and it's a shame really, I'm really hoping 
to get a good product um, from this company and I haven't um, so the email is going to get sent out today and from what I've read if you have issues with them they've sent out people more so fingers crossed they might say well we'll send you out some uh, another batch and you can try that again let's see what happens eh um, well from that guys the um, plants are looking a bit sorry because obviously they are being ravished um, by the pests they are actually taking a bit more control uh, I'm going to give this email a try see what I get back if I don't hear all back by yeah, I'm going to have to go with another solution and see what I can do if any of you guys have got any ideas um, feel free to comment on this video and, and let me know I, I obviously know the video is quite a long one but uh, please feel free uh, other than that we will have some of the sugar rush seeds for sale uh, it won't be on our website it's only going to be via uh, the Facebook page so if you go on to Chili Scrumptious' Facebook page or if you're watching this video via that you're already there uh, some seeds will be on sale on that uh, from Monday so yeah just feel free to give us a bell I'm going to do some watering because everything's looking a little bit sorry for itself but look at that eh? size of that I am on my knees look at them aren't they beautiful cucumbers maybe I should come out with chilli business that grown cucumbers hey okay. uh, well thank you very much for watching guys um, like I said if you've got any ooh if you've got any questions we're going to pull this off if you've got any questions please let me know look at that well, that is the crossover of the Carolina Reaper and the Jonah Palsever also known as the um, Gale Lofthouse Chili but this is more of a more, more of a caramel colour it smells nice but I'm not going to eat it on camera right guys thank you once again very much for watching um, I hope you've learned something if, if anything I do apologise if you've not learned oh, if there's something you can tell me that would be even better and uh, I will talk to you all again soon. Cheers. Bye now. I will run, I will climb, I will soar. I'm undefeated. Oh, jumping out of my skin, pull the cord. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, the past is everything we were Don't so make us who we are So I'll dream until I make it real And all I see is stars It's not until you fall that you fly When your dreams come alive, you're unstoppable Take a shot, chase the sun, find the beautiful we will go in the dark, turning dice to go And we'll dream it possible Possible ah. And we'll dream it possible I will chase, I will reach, I will fly until I'm breaking, until I'm breaking Out my cage like a bird in the night I know I'm changing, I know I'm changing it Into something big, better than before So thank you very much for watching the video uh, Please visit our website www.chillyscrumptious.co.uk And please follow us on Facebook and Instagram Bye now